Today, we're gonna to find out how to avoid probate. Let's go. This is David Klein Lovett, broker owner, next home, first choice, hopefully your choice realty. Please hit the subscribe button and the bell because we give you videos each and every week that are informative, that are fun, and they're just for you. So let's go. First off, a couple, little bit of housekeeping. Stay to the end because I got something special for you that's free. And I'm not a lawyer. Seek a lawyer for lawyer's advice on probate, but this is some good stuff, but I'm not a lawyer. Okay, so let's get to it. How to avoid probate. We're gonna talk about three basic things. What is probate? Why do I wanna avoid it? And how do I avoid it? Well, let's go. What is probate? Probate, in simple terms, terms that even I can understand, it's a legal process to make sure that the heirs, the people that, that knew the person and loved the person and probably related to the person who passed away, called the decedent, how we get our stuff in a fair way when we haven't figured it out ahead of time. So to get our stuff fairly when we didn't do the right things, which is that's what this video is about, to take care of it before the person passed away. So it's really a good thing because what if uh, you know you were uh, out living in Spain for six months? You come back, you found out the grandma or dad, and mom or dad passed away, and your brother and sister got all the money you didn't get in. So the court protects you, so you can go ahead and go to Spain, right? So that's what probate is. Why do you want to avoid it? I got two reasons: time and money. It takes nine to twelve months. If you could get your money now or get it nine to twelve months, what would you prefer? I'll wait for your answer. Dun, 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 dun. No, who wouldn't want their money now? But if you go to probate, not only are you gonna wait waiting nine to twelve months to get your money, but you're gonna have a big chunk of it's gonna be gone. To give you an example, and you most every time you're gonna need a lawyer. So you lawyer on a million dollar property, which is kind of almost an average property these days, guess how much money they're gonna take? There's a formula for it, and it's I'll just tell you. I guess, how would you know? Google it, I guess, or ping it, or Yahoo it. No, it's $23,000. And the person handling it all, the family member, probably the oldest, or the smartest, or the one that got stuck help, helping out, maybe the one that lives the closest, they're entitled to $23,000 too. And there's a lot of court filing fees, two, three, four thousand dollars right? So let's just round it up. That's $50,000 that the estate didn't get. So while I'm, if, even if they did do it, and I'm in Spain, I come back, that's $50,000 that the estate didn't get. It was me, my brother, my sister, $50,000, a third of that is not money that I'm gonna have. I'm not happy about that. So, how do I avoid it? There's four ways, but only a, one of them really works. Three of them just kind of delay it. And it all has to do with how you take title. And taking title is like to buy a property and what goes on the top of the grand deed? I, David Klein Levitt, take the property as a sole and single man, blah, blah, blah. So what you do is say grandma died, you go get a hold of the grand deed and you look to see what's there, all right? And then this, this is what happens. So if it says joint tendency, you can avoid proper uh, probate if, Grandpa's still alive. So it goes from one spouse to the other. If grandpa already kicked the bucket, you got nine to 12 months and $50,000 out of the way, gone. So not good. It delays it. If grandpa's still alive, you delay it. Maybe you watch this video in between and you can save the 50 grand and the nine to 12 months. So joint tenants. Then there's tenants in common with survivorship and without survivorship, which is two different ways of taking title. Sounds the same. Uh, tenants in common means I own half, or grandma owns half, and grandpa owns half. So it's okay unless one of them say they um, give their 50% uh, say to the Humane Society. Then you got to go to probate to make sure it's all fair. All right. But if they didn't, it's okay. And then with survivalship, is basically the same as joint tenancies. And again, I'm not a lawyer, but it'll delay, but it won't avoid. So the one way to avoid probate. Oh, there's another way. Don't die. If they never die, you're good. So give them a vegan diet, uh, exercise a lot, be positive, meditate, and they're still gonna die. So that doesn't work. Okay, so it's called a living trust. Now you're gonna have to go to a lawyer 
can spend some money, but it's like, do you want to pay me now or pay me later? So the oil filter was like five, ten bucks, and the, the, the whole engine redo was like five, six, seven, eight hundred dollars. Kind of the same thing. So you want to pay maybe a couple thousand dollars or whatever it costs, I'll look it up, and, you know, find your best lawyer or call me, I'll find one, I know one. And we'll take care of that for you, and you get what's called a living trust, right? So then everything's cool. And then you avoid probate, you save nine to 12 months, you save approximately $50,000 on a million dollar property, and you're good to go. And you spend a little bit of money up front. You pay me an hour, you pay me later. So that's how you avoid probate. So let's talk about it again, real quick. What is probate? So everybody gets their stuff for free, or fairly, and um, <clears throat> oh, why you want to avoid it? Because it costs time and money. And three, how do you avoid it? There's ways to delay it, but the best way is to get a living trust, which, I don't know if I told you, only 5% of the people living in America have done it. Hello, wake up, watch this video, share it with your friends, because this is maybe the most important video ever, ever for them. Give it a thumbs up, leave me a comment, and don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell, then you get notified every time it gets posted. Basically, every single Wednesday. And guess what? We'll see you next Wednesday. Oh, oh! But with the surprise at the end, click the link up there and you're gonna get a detailed video, just like this one, on what is probate. Okay, now you can go. See you next week.